Why do male lions have manes, but tigers do not? The lion's mane is one of the most iconic and distinguishing features in the animal kingdom. Flowing, thick, and majestic, it gives male lions a regal appearance, reinforcing their title as the king of beasts. But why do male lions have manes? While tigers, another powerful big cat, lack this striking feature, the answer lies in evolution, competition, survival strategies, and environmental factors. The mane serves multiple functions in a lion's life, particularly in combat, mate selection, and intimidation. Meanwhile, tigers have evolved along a different path, relying on strength, stealth, and adaptability rather than visual displays of dominance. To truly understand this difference, we must explore the evolutionary history of lions and tigers, the role of sexual selection, the impact of fighting behaviors, and environmental adaptations. The purpose of the lion's mane, a symbol of power and protection. Male lions are unique among big cats because of their social structure and reproductive competition. Unlike tigers, which are solitary hunters, lions live in prides, and their mating system is highly competitive. The presence of a mane is directly linked to a male lion's success in reproduction and survival. 1. The mane as a shield in battle. One of the most critical functions of a lion's mane is protection during fights. Male lions frequently engage in brutal territorial battles to establish dominance and claim a pride of females. These fights involve biting, clawing, and powerful swipes to the head and neck. The mane acts as a natural armor, protecting the lion's throat head, and shoulders from deep wounds that could be fatal. Research has shown that male lions with thicker, darker manes are less likely to suffer severe injuries in combat, making them more likely to survive and maintain control over a pride. This protective function explains why manes are thickest around the most vulnerable areas, the neck and shoulders. Lions with larger, fuller manes are often more successful in fights reinforcing the idea that the mane plays a role in survival. 2. The mane as a status symbol for mate selection. In addition to physical protection, the lion's mane also plays a crucial role in sexual selection. Lionesses are naturally drawn to males with darker, fuller manes, as these indicate good health, genetic strength, and fighting ability. A study conducted in the Serengeti found that female lions prefer males with longer, darker manes, as these males are more likely to be dominant and provide strong genes for their offspring. A thick mane signals high testosterone levels, which correlate with stronger immune systems and greater reproductive success. Thus, the mane serves as a visual indicator of strength, ensuring that only the most powerful and genetically superior males pass on their genes. 3. The mane as an intimidation tool. The visual impact of a lion's mane also serves as an intimidation tactic against rival males. A fully grown, dark mane makes a lion appear larger and more imposing, discouraging potential challengers from attacking. Male lions with bigger, darker manes are more likely to retain control over their pride without constant fighting, as their presence alone is enough to ward off competitors. In essence, a magnificent mane can prevent unnecessary battles allowing dominant males to maintain their rule with minimal bloodshed. By serving as both protection and a display of dominance, the mane plays a crucial role in a lion's survival, reproductive success, and social standing. Why don't tigers have manes? While lions evolved to benefit from their majestic manes, tigers followed a completely different evolutionary path. Despite being larger and stronger than lions, tigers do not possess a mane. So why is that? 1. Tigers are solitary hunters, not social fighters. Unlike lions, which live in prides and compete for control over groups of females, tigers are solitary animals. Male tigers do not need to constantly fight over a pride. Instead, they establish territories and only interact with females briefly for mating, while male tigers do occasionally battle over territory. These fights do not involve prolonged dominance struggles like those of lions. Instead, tigers rely on size, aggression, and intimidation displays rather than physical armor. Because tigers are not engaged in constant physical battles for reproductive rights, the need for a protective mane never evolved. 
2. Tigers rely on stealth and camouflage, not visual displays. Tigers are ambush predators that rely on stealth and camouflage to hunt. A large, flowing mane would be a disadvantage in their environment. Tigers live in dense forests, jungles, and grasslands, where blending into the surroundings is essential for successful hunting. A mane would make tigers more visible to prey and hinder their ability to move quietly through thick vegetation. The tiger's orange and black striped coat is already an excellent camouflage system, allowing them to remain unseen until they strike. In contrast, lions hunt in open savannas where camouflage is less important than speed and strength. 3. Environmental factors influence mane growth. The hot and humid climates of India, Southeast Asia, and tropical jungles are another reason why tigers lack a mane. A thick mane in a humid environment would lead to overheating, making hunting and movement more difficult. Even lions living in hotter climates, such as in Tsavo, Kenya, tend to have smaller or no manes due to the increased heat retention. Since tigers evolved in humid, forested environments, a mane would have been more of a hindrance than a benefit. Are there any tigers with manes? While tigers do not have full manes like lions, some male tigers develop thick fur around their necks, particularly in colder climates. Siberian tigers, which live in freezing environments, often develop a ruff of thick fur around their necks as insulation against the cold. However, this fur is not used for fighting or intimidation. It is purely a cold weather adaptation. Some rare individuals, particularly older male tigers, may develop slightly longer facial fur, but this is not the same as the lion's evolutionary maned armor. These minor fur variations are the closest thing to a mane that tigers naturally develop, but they do not serve the same social or combative functions as a lion's mane. Conclusion The Evolution of Manes and Survival Strategies The lion's mane is an evolutionary masterpiece, perfectly suited for a social predator that must constantly fight for dominance. It provides protection, intimidation, and reproductive advantages, making it a critical feature for male lions. Tigers, on the other hand, evolved to be stealthy, solitary, and efficient ambush predators, where a mane would have been more of a hindrance than a benefit. Their size, strength, and adaptability allow them to dominate without the need for a visual display of power. In the end, both lions and tigers have evolved perfectly for their respective environments, proving that nature always finds the best design for survival. The lion's mane is an evolutionary advantage, but tigers have developed their own strengths to dominate in their habitats. Which do you think is more impressive, the lion's mane as a shield of dominance or the tiger's raw power and stealth? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Wild Diary Florence for more fascinating deep dives into the world's greatest predators.